hello, hello, good evening, one and all. Welcome to the Skyrim Saturday stream. Uh, Stress-free, scintillating, um, strange, I'm thinking of other words beginning with S. Uh... Sartorially splendid, if you like my blue t-shirt. Um, anyway, hello, anyway, uh, how, how are things? How are things? Hope things are good. Think Supreme, that works as well. Supreme works as well. Ah! Your other friends, they're, they're here, they're here. Look, they're there. Sorry, they're there. I was playing the piano earlier, so I, I moved them and I forgot to put them back. There we go. They're there, they're there, don't panic. Oh. Sorry about that. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Oh, I messed it up. Try again. Try again. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Yes, that works as well. Or silly. You're all good. You've got all these letters. There you go. Hydrate. Will do. Right. Quick heads up. Testing a new thing. I mentioned this in the Discord. Mentioning it to you guys now. Um, ads. Twitch are introducing a thing where they automatically run ads. Now, it's optional. But that means they automatically run ads every hour. Now, you guys are all going to go, oh no, ads every hour, that's going to ruin the experience and everything. Bear in mind, not as bad as all that. So, it's optional. I've turned it on because they increase your revenue from 30% of the ad revenue to 55%. And I think it makes sense to be able to, well, you know, get a larger cut from the revenue rather than just giving it to Twitch. And that way I can invest it in improving the stream, buying new games for us to play, putting more time into that sort of thing and all of that. Um, so they're introducing this thing and they're increasing the revenue. As Mr. Video Freak says, it's not 100% true exactly that. I'm simplifying slightly for the purpose of explaining to the people on the stream because I don't want to go into the full terms and conditions and everything. But anyway, Point is, they're introducing this system, which is what I'm going to be doing is running an, ad, an automatic ad kind of every hour. If you're subscribed, you won't see any of that. Doesn't make any difference. I'll try and time it so that it only happens when I'm taking breaks. And if we're in the middle of a, um, if we're in the middle of a particularly crucial thing, there is a snooze button which allows me to delay it so that people, so that it's, you know, not going to be intrusive. So I'm going to try and make sure it isn't something that disrupts the stream at all. And to be honest, I kind of plan on taking ad breaks every hour anyway. So, um, not ad breaks, like breaks every hour anyway, because, I, you know, it's a long time to stream otherwise. So it should all be fine. I'm testing it out just to see how it goes for the next few streams. If it becomes particularly intrusive, or there's any element of it that you guys don't like, let me know, and we can certainly adjust the things, work it out. You know, I'm very open to feedback and all of that. As I say, subscribers don't see ads anyway, so any of you who are subscribed won't see any of this. It won't make any difference. I mean, but yeah, it's, it's a purely affect those of you who aren't subscribed. But yeah, just, just let me know um, how it affects the experience and everything. But uh, it seemed I wouldn't be doing it if it weren't about that, that um, percentage increase. You know, the fact that less of it is just sort of, well, given to Twitch, which in my mind is just like burned. I mean, I know Twitch have to make a living, but, you know, it's not doesn't ever, I don't ever see any of that. So that kind of makes sense to have a go for that. And we'll see how it goes. Anyway, so let me know what you think. Right, without any further dithering, let's jump straight into the gameplay. And of course, those of you watching this in the VOD on YouTube in a few weeks time or whatever, this won't affect you guys at all, because it's YouTube. It's a completely different ad system. Um, but anyway, right, okay, so... Uh, Taylor Swift in my head today. So, I'm sure you'll all enjoy that. Uh, we want Skyrim. Thank you for the follow, King Ains one. Anyway, yeah, so sorry to talk about boring money stuff right at the start of the stream. I just thought it's important. Um, I don't know, I like to be transparent with you guys and um, keep you all involved in the process. So, wanted to give you a heads up so you don't all go, why are there suddenly ads happening? Right. Can I go where you go? Can we always be this close? Uh, oh no, I'm sorry, Nuna. Yes, get cake. Cake is good. Never getting back together. Um, see, I don't know that one. I don't know very much Taylor Swift. I'm trying to educate myself a bit. 
Um, I don't know why my thing isn't working. Hang on. I want the game with camera to work, but it's not. It's only offering me Sonic Origins. We've got Sonic Origins. We are not playing today. We're doing Skyrim today. Right. Here we go. Uh, ditch that, because that's our save from when we were trying to take screenshots of Lucy, and we pick up back in the Arcanium. Well, the thing is, I know fragments, so like, um, I know it goes, Your friends talk, 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 talk to my friends, talk to me. We are never, never, never getting back together. Woo! Um, kind of, sort of got that. But, um, stream isn't showing up on my Discord account for You've some reason. A fair bit of I'm not worried about that at the moment. Lately, I see. What? Why the audacity? I can sort that out later. Anyway, so here we are in the Arcanium. Avec Frendos. We are currently doing the Much Ado About Snow Elves quest, and we've been searching the library for information about the Snow Elves and about the Dwemer, and we found a clue. We need to look for a Synod Mage at Mazolft. We need to ask Calselmo about his entries in the Encyclopedia Britonica, and we need to investigate Erkingvond or find a way to convince Freya to help. I can't remember who Freya is. Did we meet Freya? Oh, well, uh, I'm sorry, yes. We I don't think we did. This no. Is why I avoid so, social. these are the things that we want to do. Have I updated Zelzaz? Um, depends on when you released the update. I'm not sure whether I'm using the latest, latest, latest version. Miskatonic, if you look around the Winterhold Inn, there's a journal there that starts another anniversary edition quest that Lucian would appreciate. Go on then, let's go and have a look. 22nd of June. Ooh, I might have got that. I'm not sure. I'd have to check. I believe I've made myself rather clear. We can look at him and see if he's got horns. There's no horns sticking through, so I'm assuming I don't have it. You are a guest of the college here at the pleasure of the Archmage. I hope you appreciate the opportunity. Anyway, let's check out the frozen hearth then, while we're on our way. Much knowledge lies within the college as well. So much lizard. Many lizard things. We love our lizard friends. It's a good squad. Anyway, Talwin, it's lovely to have you here on a stream today. Been a while since we've seen you on one of these. Thank you for dropping by. It's true, you can never have enough lizard. We might rent a room here as well while we're... While we're staying over. I'm sorry, could you describe the smell? Just say the word if you need a drink oh, or something who's, to eat. Who's this over here? Exploded. Hello there. Hello there. Follow me. I need your help. This one will follow gladly. Okay. This. Unless you're one more follower for our squad. We probably won't keep them for very long. Hello. I'd like to rent a room. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. They'll improve your Hello there. What a lad. What a chap. Very bare bones because he doesn't have any detail yet. Hi! My this is not the room I was going to sleep in. Okay. Is this? No, you're. We may not, not have you. as much to offer as White Run or Solid. Ah! But we'll too many we followers. Hey, oh, he hisses. There we go. This one. We'll sleep here. Let's go for mm, 15 hours, then it'll be morning again. Still angry about bubbly. <laughs> oh. Well, it's lovely to have you here, Kat. I'm sorry you're struggling with your sleep schedule. Are we running low on meat? I hope no, you feel better soon. Even Ranmere can only drink so Zelzaz! Let's just keep I'm an still eye. here. Do you have breakfast? Of course I can. I here, that's a this is fresh. So Thank you! Breakfast. He's mm -hmm. such a nice chap. I'm loving these mods so much. This is such a fun playthrough because of all these followers. 
I hope it's inspiring all you guys to get these people as well. Hello. Greetings. <laughs> oh. If there's anything you need, just let me know. Oh, if there's anything you need, just let me know. If you're business with the college, you're now you said stay. there was stuff. It's where we should sh buy some food from, from him. Well, we're like here. Some folks here. Let's save that appetite. Just to stock up. Hawker loaf. That'd be handy. We haven't got much gold because we spent it all on buying a statue ages ago. Um, jacuzzi Zells has interactions when. Oh, bless. Um, not. Not day. until we actually do release Jacuzzi will I even I think about cross follower interaction for him. You, and that he won't be released for a very, you. very long time. I'm unable to feel you in that same way. Oh. That is probably because I do not have a connection with the his. At least, that is what I've been told. You've never been to Black Marsh, have you? Never seen a history? Nah. <laughs> Black Marsh sounds like the worst. Just one big bleh, swamp. So, no. Black Marsh? The, the worst? Black Marsh was practically made for our people. It pains me to hear you rejected in such a way, Cash. I just do not get it. It is one big swamp. And swamps are wet and muddy and... Ugh, I hate swamps. The marsh is buried. It's not simply a continuous swamp. Not that there's anything wrong with that. The closer to the heart of Black Marsh you get, the more remarkable it becomes. It's different from the rest of Tamriel. Nature there is ancient and powerful. The oldest of the Hist are there, and the most ancient of Argonians as well. It's a place where one can truly feel themselves yep, as part of the Hist. It makes you feel so detached from the troubles of this world. I do not get it. Like, why would I want to feel part of a tree? I mean, I if like there's anything you know, trees, just let me know. But one being in my head? Hey. Part, oh, I no, I interrupted her. I'm sorry. A voice in your head. You join a great consciousness. You become a branch of one great tree. You feel the love of every other soul that is part of this great tree. I'm loving the law. I didn't know any of this. an intimate connection that no other sentient beings on Nern may indulge in. You become part of an endless circle. You never feel alone. Even when your loved ones pass away. The voice acting is amazing, way. isn't it? That... that sounds like a lot. It sounds a bit scary. It was a bit scary when I was younger. However, when I ended up leaving my family to go to Lothanis, it gave me a great comfort to know how things were back home, and that they too knew how things were with me. I wish that you were able to understand, Cash. How lovely! Amazing work, Blue. Wylandria's Oracalcum Ingot. That sounds like it's relevant for something. Anyway, sorry, so there was a thing I was looking for, apparently. Apparently there was a thing in this inn that starts an anniversary edition quest. Somewhere around here. Someone pointed me at. That would apparently be particularly good for Lucian. I'm not seeing a thing. Excuse me. Calm down. Yes, I, I know. Shirley, could I could I just Ah, Seek's Ancient Artifacts Journal, Volume 1. The Sanctuary and the Manufactory. Dwarven stuff. Okay. I have arrived in Skyrim to solve a single mystery, to find the lost sanctuary of Nechaunthums. According to legend, it was built by the famed Dwemer artifacts, Clorkic and Duramac, the latter of whom is said to be a distant relative of the great Dumac Dwarf King. While the two began as rivals, through mutual respect and admiration, they eventually became friends, and over time, much more. Whereas Clorgic was an architect of great renown, his palatial estates suffered from their excess. The size of his rooms matched only by their emptiness. Thank you so much for the sub, Kev. Hello, welcome to the stream. Duramac, on the other hand, was a genius engineer, hmm? uh, but lacked the artistic vision to allow his inventions to reach their full potential. It is only when they joined forces to create Nechalmthums that they built something truly profound. If I am to find their creation, I must grasp history itself by the tale. 
Skyrim Expedition Day 17, our travels have brought us to this bleak underground tunnel which the natives call Frostroot Cave. Its winding cords of ice and rock make it truly a miserable place. My scales feel chilly, but so my nerves. More so my nerves. Luckily, we've hired a few soldiers of fortune into our employ. Some would call them bandits, but I like to refer to them as mercenaries at a discount. <laughs> I like that. Hopefully, I can convince them not to touch the artifacts and keep the scrap instead. Cool. Okay. I don't actually know what CC Sorry. this quest is for. Don't spoil it for me. Cold. I'm looking forward to the surprise. So cold. And so dark. The stink of the dead. I can taste it on my tongue. Ignore him. No, I haven't had a chance, Jack. Heard about you and your honey. The sanctuary and the moon. Right, okay. Frostroot Cave. Where is that? Is that nearby? Oh wow, it's it's a it's a schlep away. Uh. Oh, and I've not got the carriage mod installed. That lets me um. Lets me get a carriage from Winterhold. I. Will. Cheat. Dealing with bandits, what could possibly go wrong? Bandits are great, they're known for their general friendliness. Hello, C and Doc, thank you so much for the sub. And you are so welcome, I'm so glad they're helpful. That's really kind of you. Right, convenient carriages, yes, no, it's not called that actually, it's not called convenient carriages. The one I liked to use was um, uh, carriage and ferry travel overhaul. Or complete fast travel overhaul at different end. Thank you for the sub, Lost Kitnip. I'll fix you right up, I promise. Hi, Fish Fiend. Or if Fish Fiend is there, I don't know whether they actually are on the stream. Um, or whether it's just a community thing. But yeah, that started a hype train. Um, for those of you who are interested, that is a thing where if people donate or cheer uh, repeatedly within a short period of time, then you get, um, then, then it starts a hype train, which is an opportunity to earn emojis and um, uh, uh, badges and stuff. It's just sort of fun Twitch stuff um, for completing the different levels sort of as a community. It's not, you know, it's not going to change the world. It's nothing wildly exciting, but it means a lot to me. And it's a great way to, if you're planning on supporting me and my stuff, then that means now is a really good time to do it as part of the hype train. But please, nobody ever feel obliged because I'm always so happy to just do this for free. You know, it doesn't matter. But yes, thank you. Anyway, thank you so much for the bits. Um, Toby, that's really kind of you. And T, thank you. And thank you for the subs, Ms. Katonic. That's really nice of you. And bits from Skin Ripper as well. Thank you so much. Oh gosh, Morgan, thank you so much for the subs. That's so nice of you. Thank you, Morgan. That's really lovely and generous. So that's just pushed the hype train up to level three. We're on level three hype train now. So that'll be a good bundle of rewards and stuff for everyone who contributes. Look at all these guys. There's so many. It's too many. It's too many. Uh, jacuzzi, jacuzzi. I think we need to reduce you just to a cameo. Hello there. Hello there. I think it's time for us to part ways. This one will see you again soon. Yes. Yeah. I'll see you for the next tutorial video, jacuzzi. Off you go. Have fun. Have a fun day. You're just gonna stand there. No, you should be able to find your way back. Yeah, he'll find his way home. More bits. Thank you for the more bits, Skin Ripper. Very lovely of you indeed. This is still too many followers, but I can't bear to part with any of these guys. It does add a tremendous amount of emotion to disable fast travel, and I do normally like to have it turned off as part of survival mode. But it would have been an awfully long trek to get here. Um, and for the sake of the stream and not breaking it up over multiple streams, it made sense to temporarily disable it. 
anyway. Have I seen the Death Star tent? I have not seen a Death Star tent. Is that a tent in the shape of the Death Star? Because that sounds brilliant. Hello. Oh dear. Where are you off to? Probably on a stag do. You're so welcome. So glad you find the tutorials useful. Oh, troll, troll, troll. But luckily I have a small army with me. So go on team. You can sort that out. Look at them go. Look at them go. Yeah. Good job, everyone. You smashed it. Right, how do we get in? Is it around the back here? Ah. This looks hopeful. Kagrenzel. Is this the one we wanted? This says Nichauna Thooms. But is that... Oh, no, it's not Kagrenzel. We don't want Kagrenzel. We're ignoring Kagrenzel. Thank you for the follow, Gothic. Kagrunzel is not. We want Frostroot Cave. Okay, everyone. Keep quiet. We don't know what will be in this cave, alright? Stealth mode. I want you all... You and all your little feats and things all in stealth mode. Okay? Are we ready? Team, engage stealth mode now. Wait, hang on. Simon says stand up. Simon says crouch. Shirley, you didn't crouch. Oh, you did. It was just a gentle crouch. Okay. Stand up. Ah, you're all out. To say Simon says. Right, okay. Here we go. I don't have Khajiit will follow. Though I have heard very good things about it. But I think you'll all agree we have plenty of followers at the moment. <laughs> Having only 20 seconds or 20 years. Whoa! Oh, I said I'd sing Taylor Swift, didn't I, for you guys? For um, the person who uh, redeemed um, channel points for it. Um. Cause the haters gonna hate, 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 hate And the quake is gonna quake, 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 quake That's not right And the shake is gonna shake, shake it off, shake it off ah, ah, Shake it off, shake it off Shake it off, shake it off Shake it off, shake it off Shake it off Gotta keep moving Can't stop, won't stop, no, no Da 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 in my mind say it's gonna be alright Gotta play, gonna play, 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 play And then da 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 A potato's gonna potato, 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 potato Da 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 Oh And there you go, Hype Train's finished You guys all get bits and emotes and things Thank you so much everyone who contributed you are all very kind. Oh, more bad guys coming. <laughs> Hacky stealth archer powers away. <sighs> Go custard. Destroy the fan custard. Fans of the enemy. Break them. You're not. I am not. Whoa, <laughs> You're fine, okay? Cash. You're fine. <laughs> Bless her. That was very cute. Ooh. A Dwemer bedroom. 
Oh, I hear bad noises. Oh no, it's fine. It's just scrap. Uh, where are Sorry, we going? Makes me want to move even less. Sass from Zelzaz there. Zel Sass. Zel Sass is on the case. What is my favorite player home location? Um, I don't know. Uh, you're saying specifically vanilla or half fire, so I can't say creation club because I really like Shadowfoot Sanctum from the creation club. Are you okay? Good job, Croc. Soon it's gonna be alright. Cause the baker's gonna bake, 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 bake. Da -da -da. Ooh, <coughs> a corpse. I must examine them for clues. <laughs> ah, Seek's Ancient Artifacts. We have the sequel to his first book. Skyrim Expedition Day... Can't read it behind the thing. Oh, we need lots of Dwemer stuff. Day something. We have spent two... I'll do an Argonian voice for this. Hang on. Uh, Argonian. How do, how do Argonians speak? They speak like this. We have spent two whole days stumbling around blindly in the dark, and then suddenly there it was! The Chanthums! It is here that Claudjak and Duramak built their home. It was once a grand palace, but time and negligence have humbled its mechanical splendor. Nevertheless, by making this discovery, we have etched our places in history. Skyrim Expedition Day 20. What a fool I am! To think I could control these mechanical puppets as Duramak did. Based on my notes, it seems I must summon a dwarven sphere overseer and provide it with the following parts. Three large cogs, three actuators, one units of oil. But alas! I am a historian and the language of machines is foreign to me. I've managed to figure out how to summon the Overseer by pressing the side buttons on the panel, but I wouldn't know what an actuator was, even if it smacked me in the face. For now, I must rest and regain my strength. I am so tired. <clears throat> oh, golly, that's much better. Right, we need to collect things. We need to collect bits and pieces for the manufactory. Actuator, cog, what else was on the list? Oil, actuators and cogs. I don't normally pick this stuff up when we find it. Assembly line constructs. I don't know who's who's written this, but uh, they can have a different voice. According to my research, Duramax constructs were meant to clean and organize the living space. Logic was creative but messy. His thoughts are scrambled that only Duramax understood. While the Centurion and Sphere assembly lines are damaged beyond repair, the Spider contract can thankfully do the same work, albeit at a slower pace. The assembly line can be powered by placing a dynamo in the actuator which should provide the energy required to build the construct. Once this construct is built, I'll need to activate the levers in the house to have it renovate various sections of my home. By my calculations, each section should take no longer than a day to finish. Is this the Dwemer player home? I think this is the Dwemer player home. Right. We've collected the bits. Okay, uh it says that button or that button. Boop. I'll do. Where are you off to, mate? Hey, hey, I'm carrying too much to be able to run. Come here. Do I have a potion of 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 more carrying? Yes. Oh, Good. Right. What was 
was it, Cash? What was the green thing you spied? Hi. Deliver required repair parts. Positive clicks. Excellent. Turn on the manufactory. Yes, it could well have been Croc. Um, right. She spied Croc. Right. Beep. Oh. This is very exciting. Oh, we need a Centurion Dynamo Core. Where do we get one of those? From a Centurion, I suppose. I don't suppose there's any lying around. There'll be one in this Dwarven Ruin, probably. Ah! Tons of them! All the stuff we could need! Oh, Lucian would love this place. Hmm. Boop. Ha ha. Hello. I heard oh, he's going in that way. Language, Timothy. Cause I keep moving, can't stop, can't stop proving. So this is the house then? Is this what will be my home? That's why there was a bed. The whole of the Chown Thumbs? Is this, this is my new ho house? It belongs to me now? Let us clear a section of this home. Ah, okay. Well, let's go and clear the bedroom, because that, I think, is the most important starting place. Oh, this is like a little, little forge section kind of thing. Oh, this is very cool. Oh, no, that's the cave. I didn't want to go out. I left. I accidentally left the house. Let me back. Let me back in. Cause the baker's gonna bake. Right. This is a room. It's got sleeping bags in it. Oh, go on. Let's just clear this room, see what this is like. I abandoned my earlier attempts at logic. Beep! Go for it, little spider dude. You do your renovating. We've got to wait 24 hours for the renovating to finish, so we will be back. And I look forward to seeing the results of your work. What are you doing? What are you going to do in here? You're just going to sort of tinker. Ooh. Oh, he's cute. He's very cute. Do 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 Right. How? Where? That way? That way. Can't stop, won't stop moving in my mind. It's gonna be alright. There was only one. Oh no, there wasn't only one. There were quite a few actually, weren't there? Do, 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 do. Let's clear this cave out while we're here. If this is gonna be the entrance to one of our homes. 
Oh, I think it is clear. Hello, Mary! Welcome to the stream! Hope you're having a smashing day. Mary is here, and Mary streams, by the way. For those of you who weren't here on the other stream the other day, everybody follow Mary. Mary made Ori, Mary streams. You should definitely follow her. quite know what this place oh this is where we were this is our home we just came back in the home we went the wrong way we just came Are back you? into our house when we were trying to leave because we don't know where we're going and we're useless it's cool that I have a throne room though I've always thought I should have a throne room anyway this way this is the way this is the way. <clears throat> ah, Skyrim. The pretty northern lights. So nice. Right, we are continuing our epic quest to find out information about the snow elves. Nope, oh, wrong button. That's the one. Ah, and we're not far away. Mazulft is that way. All the Dwemer ruins are sort of clustered together. So Mazulft. We should go to Mazulft. Ah, oh, the Minecraft treetop kingdom land. Forest Tree Kingdom Land. What a wonderful empire that was. Come along, gang. Just because we're traveling through the snow at night doesn't mean you should all dally around. We're going to Mazulft. We have investigation to do. Oop. 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 Who said that? Oh, they're soldiers. That's okay. Yeah, there is a Lucian today. He's kicking somewhere around. He's in the squad. It's a very large squad. Yes, he's in Silicon Drama. If only there were a way we could get you to travel to the stars, Lucian. If only there were a recently announced Bethesda game coming soon, which might allow you to travel to the stars. Alas, such a thing does not exist. Let's get back to it. That's a nighttime line. Ooh, tiny spiders. That is a very small spider. Let's see if we're gonna lock this gate. Nope. 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 Ah, ba nope. Ba -ba -ba. Ah, ba -ba -ba -ba. Yeah, nope. Nope. 
Starfield Lucian would be a post Skyrim Lucian. Giant spider broodling. So it's that's saying it's a small, small, large spider. Glowing crystal shard. Don't mind if I do. Identify the crystal shard. I have identified it as a crystal shard. Perish. Perish? Who's perishing? Are we fighting amongst ourselves? Are you ready to be the divine? Oh no, there's a spider sort of stuck. Where is it? There it is. <laughs> Forgot that was a thing. Oh, can I not cut through this? Oh, I can. Go this side. It's fun how sometimes I completely forget. I forget Lucian has lines, and then he just completely surprises me with them. Why? Is it because of this spider broodling? Sorry, let me get out of your way. Fire! Good idea. Good job, stream people. Burn, baby, burn. Retreat, retreat, retreat. Cash, can you do the scary fighting for me? Oh, sorry, Cash, I set you on fire. I didn't mean to do that. I am an extremely pro streamer. I don't know what you're insinuating there, Mr. Video Freak. Oh boy. Hey, smashed it. Yes, Tash, you messed them up. Ah, oh, Croc, you decided to join us. Okay, it's really dark. I love that line. Right, hello. Chap, you're obviously having a bit of a time. But you have a key to a chest. Find the Synod's chest. Over here somewhere, according to my map marker. Torch, that's going to help. No, no fallout, Lucian. You never need to apologize for being late. There is no... This is for your entertainment. I'm providing a service to you. You don't... You know, you're not under any obligation to turn up to my streams, honestly. Whoa. Excuse me, team. Watch out. Shout out from Tailwind to Ninja for being generally one, generally wonderful. Ninja, you are wonderful, it's true. But no, there'll never be a Fallout Lucian because uh, the player... Or there'll never be a Fallout for Lucian because the player has a voice and that makes it impossible to write dialogue. Ooh, Dwarves volumes. We'll take those, put them in the library. Oh, and a fishing rod. Very nice. And the Fall of the Snow Elves. So this is all from... Um, uh, much Ado About Snow Elves, which is from Legacy of the Dragonborn. It's not originally from Legacy of the Dragonborn, but uh, it was one of those mods that was incorporated into Legacy of the Dragonborn. What was it called? Fall of... Or was it The Fall of the Snow Elves? The Fall of the Snow Elves. You cannot make a deck because you're missing... Yeah, that's fine. Investigate the area around Alftand... The Order of the Sky Sisters, as the Snow Elves called them, waited until the human hordes were almost upon them before finally taking refuge in the last remaining Dwemer city to offer them hospitality. It is said that the Sky Sisters were more suspicious of the Dwemer and their intentions than the other Snow Elven houses, and therefore held out initially. 
Eventually faced with the inevitability of the coming onslaught, they had no choice but to accept the terrible Dwemer bargain and take refuge in the depths of Alftand. It is also said by some scholars that the Sky Sisters were the first group of Snow Elves to be fed the poisonous algae and therefore discovered the Dwemer's true intent, the enslavement of their entire race. There are references in Dwemer texts of this wing of Elftand being sealed shut after an incident there, although no scholar to any knowledge, to my knowledge, has ever discovered further explanation of what occurred there. There is yet more to discover. Oh no, I think we have opened all the doors now. Oh no, there's this door. Ah, spooders! Absolutely not. Oh, Zelda's is in there. Go on, Zell! Squish those spiders! Splattering squishy squishy spiders! No, the blue-eyed, I'm absolutely not doing that. Can you imagine? I don't... I don't... Un I... Machine generating dialogue is not, the technology is not there yet. It's amazing and it's great that, you know, people are able to do these clever things these days. But it would so not align with my design philosophies and the level of polish I aim for with Lucian to have any kind of AI generated voice acting. That is not the way forward. Their steam machines are often linked to geothermal vents. Ingenious. Well, exactly, and as Nuna says, it would take a ton of time to make it, so I would just not put the you know, putting all that time and effort into making a follower mod that had the massive caveat that it, all the player dialogue was just AI voice acted. It would just be such an underwhelming letdown. You have so many places to investigate. Right, we head on over to Urkingfand. That's our nearest objective, which is over there. Whereas Starfield, on the other hand, no player voice. Yeah, no, obviously there's also sp splice and recycle. Point is, none of these are good options. None of these are options that would allow me to make a good quality mod. Oh, take Remy to see Dwemer Ruins. That's fun. I mean, it works in some contexts. For instance, Dragon Age 2 with Hawk. Hawk is a whole character on his own, or her own. But they are, they are, uh, they're deliberately not intended to be like a, a sort of, they're not intended to be a template for you to create any character on. Hawk is a very specific character written in a specific way. And that works. But I don't think it works in one of these sort of sandbox RPG kind of things where it's intended... Oh, we've got zombies! Where it's intended to be able to make anything. But anyway, point is... Um... Starfield does not have a voice protagonist, and therefore, it, so it doesn't have a voice protagonist, it supports followers, and it supports modding. Now, the game itself might end up being rubbish. If that's the case, we won't do anything with it. But if the game ends up being good, it certainly looks like making a follower mod will be possible for it. So, um, I think it could be really cool and exciting. Good way for Lucian to see the stars. And it fits in nicely with the wider story I have planned for him outside of Skyrim. Look at that pretty sky. Are we all okay? We're not just declaring war on the giants for no reason. Splucian, I like that. We were calling him Spacian Spacius before. Oh, 
Greetings, Earthling. My name is Spacian Spacius. I'm a space scientist, a space philosopher, a space wizard, and something of a space magician. Though I suppose that's more of a space hobby. I'm here in space on an expedition. Academic mainly. I find space simply fascinating. The space flora, the space fauna, the space ruins, both space dwemer and space nordic. The spa architecture, the politics. I'm certainly keen on the idea of a Starfield Lucian, Mr. Video Freak. Space. Space. Why don't I go space? Space. But yes, Lost Kitnip, I was going to just keep talking. Uh, but when I talk about a wider plan for Lucian outside of Skyrim, I write stories. I have a I have a sort of a shared universe of my writing uh, in which you know a shared multiverse kind of thing and I am very pleased with the concept of Lucian I'm pleased with how he seems to have gone down well with people and it would be a shame I think to make him specifically tied purely to this one game which isn't my copyright and have the character, you know, be permanently locked up with this. You know, it would be it would be nice to be able to use the character in something that's my own. So you know, I have a bit more to do with that. Oh I got an achievement! I've got Delver! Hmm. Wait, who's fighting? No, Croc! Leave! Croc, leave Cash alone! Stop it! Take a chill pill. Lizard's not getting on. Lizards falling out. Croc, as punishment for your misdeeds, you shall face the dunk. Whee! Splish! There you go. He won't do it again. Getting chilly, apparently. Oh, I heard a, I heard a howly doggo. Are we there yet? This has been a very long walk. No. Straight wolves. Get him. Shirley did the job there. Well done. Good job, Shirley. On with our adventures. Hope you had a good break and you all hydrated and had a nice snack or a nap or whatever. Oop. I am indeed a Joe bot. I drink oil and eat cogs. Indeed, Artorias. Yazoo! This is a sentiment I can get behind. Wasn't Yazoo also a type of yogurt? Or am I making that up? That looks like a bad guy. I'm gonna get him. 
Nyeh. Nope, I'm not a master assassin. Nyeh. Yes, got him. Watch out, you're not alone. Oh, I noticed that. Cash. Yes. Yay! You tell him, Lucifer. Tell him how it is. Uttering Hills Cave. That sounds fun, but we're not going in. Yazoo is still a yogurt thing. Is it like a drink? Is it like a yogurt drink? How do we get up there? Around this side? Whee. Let the wind blow high and the wind blow low Over the hills in my kilt I'll go Everybody says hello Don't away your trousers Oh, run for it Did we win? See you, Mr. Video Freak. There we go. Right. I'm going that way. To Arking Fandomad. Uh, what was that? Just a sort of moan. Whinge. Right, we're going this way. Mr. Video Freak is not Zelzaz. Mr. Video Freak is Lucifer. Do not get your lizards mixed up. I need to get that way. I feel we've gone completely the wrong route. We need to get up the mountain. Go! This way. There's no such thing as too many lizards. We've already established this fact. So I think that automatic ad break actually went fine. I managed to time it with the stream break. It was exactly the same as I would have done if I pressed the ad button. Who's her? Who, who are you talking to? Me? My hair? You can definitely braid my hair, Cash. But I'm not sure how you noticed it was pretty through my helmet. Take away. There once was a ship that put Tacy in the name of the ship with a belly of tea. Right. Cash has x ray vision. I can believe it. How get up mountain? Why is Dave so brilliant, Joseph? I don't know, Ninja. Let's ask him. Dave, why are you so brilliant? Well, you see. Well, you know. The thing is, mate, you're right. So the thing is that I, I, I am naturally brilliant. I, I was born that way. You see, I get it from my mother and from my father and and from my uncle, my old uncle Steve, you know, my old china plate. Well, Steve, he was a legend of a dumb man because what he was, right, 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 was he, he, uh, stole the famous golden eggs of Balthazar from Lord Bibliotech back in the third era, don't you know? You see, that's what happened. And uh, only the greatest of Dave uh, relatives can steal the golden eggs of Balthazar. So, that's, that's, that's what happened. And ultimately, I inherited some of those same genetics, basically. 
So I hope that clears that up for you all. Thank you, Dave, for your for your time. Oh, no problem, you old mucker. People should uh, definitely uh, subscribe to the channel. You know, don't you know? They should. They should definitely do that. Um, so yeah, that's what Dave says. That's what Dave says they should do. So um, there you go. Thank you. Right, here we are in Mazolft. How do we get in? Is it down or is it up? I think it's up. It's been a while since I last went to Mazolft. What sort of age would you say Dave is? Um, I feel like he's in his 30s. But he could also arguably be in his 40s or his 50s. Maybe more 40s than 30s, thinking about it. He's definitely no older than 60. I feel like he's probably one of these sort of ageless people. You know, where you sort of look at him and he's like, it's just one of those sort of general weather-beaten faces that you can't tell whether he's 30, 40, or 50, or what. What do you mean, what sword? Do you mean, what sword am I using? Well, this is a bow. But I mean, if you want to know what sword I'm using, I am using this Glenroy's empowered Akaviri Katana from uh, Beyond Scarab Whoa! Dead. Hello, Fox Mouse. Welcome to the stream. I'm so glad you like my stuff, and it's lovely to have you here. Oh, no. I forgot about that. It was a helicopter thing that got me. Right. We'll watch out for that. Okay. Oh! Okay, so it just triggers on its own. I thought it wouldn't trigger if I didn't move. Apparently, it will. Maybe it's got a press plate at the bottom as well as at the top. Okay, what we're going to do instead... New plan. Ah! Oh, boy. Run, 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 run. Did we win? I think we won. A helicopter, yes. Yes, it is one of those. Oh, they're giving each other potions, isn't that sweet? Oh, a cool door. Sealed Dwemer Vault door. Continue following your other leads. We'll need to come back here. Oh. It's very nice that they're, they're still giving each other potions. Because Zelzaz has got himself into a bit of a pickle. Okay. Can we stop that? Is there a... Is there a lever? To switch that off? Or is that just going to keep... Okay. Zel. Marshmallow and salt. It's in that one. Okay. No, I just saved your life. Right. Can everyone just hold still while we figure out what to do about the helicopter? There's got to be a disengage button. There always is. Is there not? There obviously just isn't. Usually there's a lever or a switch or something, but that is just going to keep spinning five ever. How am I going to get all the followers out? Oh, well, I'll just have to hope that they'll catch up with me. Run, 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 run.
Yes, the auto mod will catch any swear words or abbreviations of swear words that you use. So please don't use those. Bring it on. Did we win? Have we got everyone? Did everyone manage to get out okay? Did everyone sound off? Count, what head count? Cash, Zelzaz, Croc, Shirley, Lucifer, Lucian, Remio, Scrap. We're all here. Shout out if you're not here. No, I think we're fine. Okay, right, good. Where is next on our list of objectives? The area around Alftand. And also Freya and also Calselmo. No, it's fine. No need to apologize. It's just you seem to be unsure why the auto mod had triggered. That was also, I was just explaining. Oh! Run! Oh no. I have been eaten by it, although. I'm such a such a good gamer. I'm a pro at this. Right, oh, and all the way back here. It's fine, this is fine. Where's the where's the dude? There he is. Good. I didn't think so. Right, we're all here. Yes, boss. I would like to train you some more. Excellent. What shall we work on this time? Uh, one-handed skills. One-handed it is. You can never be good enough with a sword, or a mace, or an axe, or you get the picture. Take that and that. Uh, all right, enough. I yield. I yield. You should have a teleport spell for your dwarven mug crab. I recall you mentioning that your name was Orkish. Would you care to tell me more about that? Oh, Zal and Cash are talking again. Can you talk while we're running along? Given an orc is named by an orc. Come on. I do not think there is that much to it. Do you know what your name means? The Dwemer did a lot of research Would into you want the Elm of Fae, or uh, Earthbird. Do you know Orcus? It led them to experiment to win Walken's uh, heart. Not, no. And that didn't end but well. But Orc names always have a meaning behind them. I figured Orc names were the same way. Hmm. Maybe. It would be nice to know what it means. Get to know what it means. What do you hope it means? I do not know. Daughter, free lizard, uh, Something nice. Daughter free lizard. Perhaps I could give you a gel name of your own cash between the two of us. Oh, that's cute. I, I think I would rather stick with cash. Just for now. Ah, that's all right. Let's see if we can figure out your own name first. Hmm? Oh, that's so right. cute. That sounds nice. Oh, I love them. Oh, it starts a quest. They have their own quest. What's in a name? Help Zelda find out what Cash's name means. That's really cool, Blue. I really like that. They have their own quest that starts when they have that conversation. That's so cool. Go on then, Zell. Do you need something? Any ideas about leads for Cash's name? I think I can recall the book about orc names. I'm not sure where I recall it from though. I imagine that Yatur Grokash likely kept one in his quarters some years back. Perhaps one of the Orc strongholds has a copy. Good talk. So we'd have to, um, yeah, look for a copy of that book. Zeldad! Oh, I love it! Oh. That was such a cool, immersive thing to happen. I love that. That makes it feel like such a professional part of the game. You know, 
that doesn't feel like mod stuff at all. That feels that feels proper real stuff. So Zelzaz is from the Zelzaz mod, and Cash is from Cash. That's what that that's what the mods are called. People who are asking, Zelzaz is from Zelzaz, and Cash is from Cash. So if you Google them, you will find. Honestly, these this new wave of follow I say new, this more recent wave of follower mods just never ceases to impress me. I also enjoy how I think it was Zell shouting bear with me there. It's quite chilly out, don't you think? I think it was Zell. Right, this time, let's maybe not die. Okay. Just let me catch my breath. Watch out for the bear. Be prepared for the bear. Be prepared for the truth, the sun for the king will be teleportation. Some use levitation to go. Yes, my teeth and ambitions are bad. Be prepared. Be prepared for what? For a bear. <laughs> Meticulous planning, tenacity spanning. <laughs> it's simply why I hold it king, unsaluted, respected, saluted, and seen for the wonder I am. Yes, my teeth and ambitions are bad. Be prepared. Nearly there. Cause I'm on my way to Elf Tend. Oh, Elf Tend. It's not far away. Oh, it's the way would pass. What's the way through the way would pass? It's got a corpse of a dude. He's got a skull. I've just taken his skull because it looked like a unique item that I could probably hey, display. Watch it. Oh, it's the wayward pass, and I've just stolen a dude's skull. Do 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 do. do. Oh, I stole the dude's skull. Before I came to Skyrim, I had heard stories of ice tribes living up here in the northern wastes. I haven't seen a single sign of them. Ha! I got ahead of him. Hello, Drip. Welcome to the stream. I understand from the uh, from the the modern lingo that Drip is used to refer to nice clothes. So there you go. That is uh, that's uh, hip new slang with Joseph. Bet, poggers, pog champ.
We are hip with the kids. Bad cats. Oh, we've done another Dwemer ruin. I like how this works. I wonder why the Dwemer of Skyrim preferred to build their strongholds out of stone. I wonder indeed, Zell. Who summoned something? Oh, no. Oh, boy. No, I will not be killed by wolves. Not again. Too much dying today. I don't like it. Help! 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 Yes! For House Telvani. Another victory for House Telvani. Oh, I'm getting hungry. Seen for the wonder I am. Right, we are nearly there. This is where the marker is pointing us. Oh no! I saw that happening a mile off. I knew that was going to happen. But there was no going back. Oh, we're back to the bad kitties. Yeah. You really want me to use the potions that Zelda has, don't you? Blue. I could do that, or I could use Drop Zone. But come on then. Come on then, Zel. I feel like me and Remy are becoming great friends. I feel that too. Give me a potion. Do you need a powerful or simple potion? I would like a Powerful potion. Which powerful potion do you need? Uh, go on then. Become ethereal. It's useful if you find yourself falling off a cliff. Nice followers, who are they? Do you want me to go through the squad? We have Lucy and Flavius. How are you doing, my friend? We have Zelzaz. Hmm? We have track. Cash. Morning. Morning, Cash. We have Shirley. Hmm? We have Croc. Totally, totally, totally. Totally. Right. We have Lucifer. What's up, Dragonborn? We have Remio. I sort of want Zelzaz to test one of my potions. But I'm afraid of what I'll say. See ya. And I think that's it. Did we miss anyone? Did I say Lucifer? Hey. If I didn't say Lucifer, we have Lucifer. What we need to do in here. What healed me after the first wolf bite? Probably Lucian. I've taught Lucian to use healing hands, so. Yes, the spider is scrap, which belongs to Remy. Uh, I wonder why it told me to come down here. Maybe this is the proper way down, rather than just throwing ourselves off the cliff. Oh, boy. Help. Help. Come on, army. Everything fine? Good. Whoa, look at how these 
machines are built. Nope. Yes, that spider does not belong to Remy. This is true. Nope. Yes, it's too big an adventuring party, to be honest. We need to reduce it a bit, but I'm really enjoying getting to know them all. So I don't know who I would lose. It would make me sad. How about them apples? I love it. Too. Watch out for the traps. I guess it's this way. Can I can I come through or is that just going to be constantly on fire? So, when the doors open, it's on fire. Well, I have a solution for this. Whoop. Whoop. Ah. So this is just a room full of loot. I mean, I'd like my followers to be able to come through too. Come on, everyone. Try not to burn too much. Whoa. Smashed it. All down to my involvement. Right, we are now lower down. Bad dog. Ooh. Frozen behind an ice wall? Oh, it melts! That's pretty cool. That's very cool how it melts. I'm glad you like the bow. The bow is Ruin's Edge from uh, Creation Club slash Anniversary Edition. Let's keep melting the ice. Very slow to melt. Come on. Hey. Spider, 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 spider. Yep, so we're currently playing a quest from Legacy of the Dragonborn, originally originally from Much Ado About Snow Elves, which was its own standalone mod that got folded into Legacy of the Dragonborn. I don't know whether the ice wall is new for Legacy or whether it's... Oh, come with me. Oh, a ghost. A ghost who would like it to come with her. Uh, this is a steep drop. Is there a button to make it less of a steep drop? Do we just throw ourselves off? I guess we just throw ourselves off. Geronimo! Oh, okay. That wasn't nearly as steep as it looked. I don't know. I would like my followers to come with me because I need them 
Otherwise, I'm in trouble. Lizard squad! Watch out. We got some trouble. Oh, I don't know where Croc ended up. Oh, there he is. Are those wisps? I've never actually encountered a wisp mother. Are those wisps or are they intended to be something else? Well, the ghost went that way, but my marker sends me that way. Ah, one of these cool blue doors. You can open the blue doors. That's cool. Over right. here. Over here? Hello? What's going on? Whoop. You explode? Oh, and, and gone. Was there anything on the floor here that you were... No? Was this more ice? No. This is a rock. I guess the only way we can go is this way. This is fine. I would love to have the rest of the follower squad with us. Yes, could do with a rest and a fire. However, instead, we're fighting Falmer. Whoa, boy. Get him, Croc. Come on, Lucifer. Between you, you can do it. Hang on, I can yell them. Did that help? Oh, I'm out of arrows. That's bad. Oh, and I'm also out of, out of life. When did I last save? Not for a while. Oh, we're all the way back here. Okay. Look, I'll tell you what. That's what happens when I forget to save. I think we'll probably park it there for the evening and carry on with this next week. Because I have hunger and I need to go and find food. So... Thank you all very much for watching. It's been good fun as ever. 
Um, you're all lovely. Uh, I think we're going to end by raiding Rebel's Eyes. So um, that's what we're going to do. Rebel's Eyes um, is probably doing cool Sky Oblivion stuff. Um, so uh, we're going to jump over and we're going to raid them. Uh, and yeah, tune in on. I'll be back on Monday for uh, ESO. We'll be playing Elder Scrolls Online on Monday. So do join me then. We'll be revisiting good old Octavius. And, uh, and you'll all be very welcome to come along and play too if you want to. Um, so it'll be on Monday, I'll be on Thursday doing another modding workshop, and next Saturday we'll be doing uh, more Skyrim stuff and so on, and that's the schedule round and round. Yes, we're doing ESO Monday. Um, Czech, uh, not Czech, uh, Kthulin requested it for their birthday. So um, it will be PC EU for ESO, yes, for sure. So do tune in for that and come along and play. It'll be lovely to have you all there. I think my character's in Hammerfell, I think that's where I left him. So, um, yeah, cool. Anyway, right, I'm gonna, we're going to raid Rebel. Let's all wish him a marvellous day. Yeah, he looks like he's working on Sky Bolivian stuff now. Um, so everybody jump on the raid. And yeah, I'll see you all again soon. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. You're all marvellous. Bye-bye. 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 Let's all raid. Bye-bye. 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 Goodbye. Goodbye.